You're watching CARE 11 News in high definition. This is CARE 11 News Saturday. Well, this time of year, it is fun to get together, but a lot of people also get quite sick. Kowalski's is here to talk about how to boost your immune system at this time of year. You're watching CARE 11 News Saturday. Don't go away. The holidays are wonderful, but they can also increase your risk of getting sick with all the added stress. This morning, our next guest says the food on your plate can actually boost your cold and flu-fighting powers. Sue Moore is a registered dietitian to empower us here. She is with Kowalski's Markets, of course, and thank you so much for being here again. Thank you. I should have worn my superhero cape. <laughs> we, that's what we're doing today. We're Go get them, Tiger. We, we are. This is, this is kind of that perfect storm time of year where it's mm -hmm. like, you know, people are coming in. People are coming out. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of guests coming, a lot of visitors out of town. You know, there's probably some stress involved. Yes. There's like a lack of sleep, maybe even. You hit right? them all. <laughs> exactly. You hit them all. But these are all things, and and, and it being that time of year, yeah. where where colds and flus can run rampant if we're not careful. They can, and at Kowalski's we've got you covered because it really does make a difference what you put on your plate. When you eat high fat, high sugar foods, which is sort of that holiday party circuit stuff, sure, which is fine. But right after eating them, your immune system takes a dive for about one to two hours. Mm -hmm. And so if you can kind of bookend those holiday parties with some pretty healthy food, so those meals that are not the holiday party foods, if you really put some of the stuff that we'll talk about today into play, yeah. it will boost your immune system and hopefully carry you through the holidays so they're not only happy but also healthy. Well, after we wash our hands, yes. well, then, what do we, then what do we go ahead and eat? What well, big surprise, things? fruits and vegetables top the list. Uh, What's here are orange and red and dark green because of their vitamin A or carotenes and vitamin C, which are really important for skin, and, which is part of your immune system, mm -hmm. and for your nose and your throat and just health of cells. So anytime you can get those dark, vibrant colored fruits and vegetables in, great. But a lot of times people think, oh, you know, just fruits and vegetables, boring. So what you want to try and think about is what to do with them to make them really sort of fun. Right. How to make them presentable. And we and have, a, um, yeah, it's presentable and tasty, a mango salsa at Kowalski's Packaged that's just great, great in vitamin A, great in vitamin C. You put it over a cooked fish or a cooked chicken, super simple to do, and immediately get this big boost of a lot of good nutrition. I even kill that stuff with just chips. You okay, know? good. Yeah, yep, seriously. or just by the spoonful. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a citrus salad. So with... Uh, Winter, you get a lot of sort of those comfort foods, and you're looking for sort of that bright and crisp and fresh flavor. So we'll have on your website the recipes, but we've yeah. got this winter citrus salad that's very simple to make. Again, those dark greens, the citrus with the vitamin C, the crisp of the jicama, super great. So Hic fruits and vegetables, good. Jicama, very underutilized, but just tremendous yes. in salads. I yes. love it. Okay. Mushrooms, part of the vegetable group, but actually in and of themselves have some substances that activate the immune system. So they oh, sort okay. of stimulate immune cells. So mushrooms, anytime you can fold them into some dishes, have their own little special powers. I see you have shiitake and oyster but, and morel, but uh, Any mushroom. all mushrooms. White okay. button, button mushrooms, great Got too. It. Okay. Next on the list is grains and beans. And intestinal health, actually a fair amount of our immune system sits in our intestines. Intestines, okay. which is sort of interesting. Yeah, it is. So anytime you can make your immune system strong or intestinal intestines strong, it's good. And grains and beans do that. And again, people think, okay, what do I do with some of these new grains, like quinoa or whatever? If you check out our deli, we've got the opportunity for you to taste quinoa or wheat berries right. or farro or some kind of bean. Try those and you'll get these great flavors. Okay, and okay. moving along. Yep, nuts because of their minerals and vitamin E are great. Yogurt is great because it actually puts some good bacteria into your intestine and that nudges out bad bacteria. And these guys do it too, the grains and beans. It's sort of this balance between the two. So yogurts are great and right. kefir. Kefir. Okay. So super great there. And this, this is, like is a just a dip. Drink, right? Yep. Yep. And you're starting to see some come out with immune claims on the package. Oh, okay. So, and then tea, because again, it does this sort of stimulating of the uh, immune cells. And actually, some teas, green teas and black teas, can stall the growth of viruses. So, all of these sort of wholesome foods are a great way to bump up that immune system. Sue Moore's with uh, Kowalski's. Thank you for being here. Mm -hmm. Thanks Thank for being you. our superhero this morning. Good. Thank you. You can find <laughs> Sue's immune boosting tips and recipes on our Saturday show page located under news on care11.com. Up next, workout wear.